Good morning. Hannah, unfortunately, I was one of those kids who cheated at Heads Up, Seven Up. <laughs> um, we're all here today for one purpose, to walk across the stage, receive our diplomas that we all worked so hard to earn. So while you're anxiously waiting in your seats, praying that when you come up here, you don't trip on your gown or lose your hat, take a second to look around you. We did not earn these degrees individually. At one point or another, we counted on each other to pull through. So when I speak about us, I truly do mean all of us. With that being said, I'd like to welcome my fellow graduates whose fellowship and friendship in the classroom made getting here possible. I'd also like to welcome the amazing faculty and staff, family and friends whose constant support and encouragement made our dream of a college education a reality. I'd like to start by saying how honored and extremely nervous I am to be standing here before you today. This honor, the St. Benedictine Award, is an honor I never expected or knew that I wanted. My time here at BenU has been challenging and rewarding. As an adult student, I've had a unique opportunity to work with some truly amazing people. For those of you who don't know, the adult program at Benedictine is small cohorts. The cohort I was in was formed of people from all walks of life. For some of us, we were returning to school after a long hiatus. There were some of us who were students for the first time. Some of us were the first in our families to sit in a college classroom, let alone earn a college degree. Some of us were working full time and caring for a family, while some of us have been in the workforce for many years, and then there were some of us who were just starting out. On the surface, we were all so different, but the one thing that we shared was that we were part of the Benedictine family. Now, while I might not be speaking for everyone, Benedictine, choosing to come to Benedictine, was more than just finding a place to finish my degree. I was drawn here to become part of the amazing community that's built. What other university is built on such a strong foundation? We're not just another face in the crowd here. We are what makes Benedictine special. Most of you know that Benedictine is founded on 10 hallmarks of education. As students, we not only learn these hallmarks, we learn to recognize them in ourselves and the way we live our life, care for one another, and seek to be part of the good in this world. In the adult program especially, we require the hallmark of discipline to continue to push ourselves to sit in a classroom after a long, hard day at work, put in all the effort that's required to complete the unholy amount of homework that was given, and made, we made a community within our class to fulfill another hallmark. We were able to rely on each other to make it through, even if that meant phone conferences or setting up a private Facebook group to communicate. Finally, the last hallmark is prayer, which we all needed, especially in our calculus class and our international online classes. During my time here, I was also given the opportunity to work in the registrar's office. I was able to work on a professional level with all the dedicated staff and faculty, but mostly, mostly with our registrar and registration specialist, Mary Wearies and Sabrina Day who along with my family gave me constant support and encouragement and helped me in ways I didn't even know I needed. Their friendship and guidance is something that I'll treasure for my entire life and it's probably what I'll miss the most. So here we are, finished with college. Like many of you, I'm sure, I thought this day would never get here. I spent most of the days counting down, checking off classes one by one, week by week, saying there's only 104 weeks left, only 103 weeks left. Towards the end, the only thing that kept me sane was repeating my mantra, it's almost over, I'm almost done. But now that we are done, I realize that we're just beginning. Now we have to figure out a way to implement everything we just learned in the classroom into real life and build a career. So let the chaos begin. I'd sincerely like to congratulate each and every one of you on all your hard work and dedication making it to this incredible milestone. And with that, I'd like to leave you with the words of a world-renowned doctor who brought joy and encouragement to most of us at one point or another. When pondering all the places you'll go, he states, congratulations, today is your day. You're off to great places, you're off and away. All the places we will go, I can't wait to get there. Thank you.